Okay, um, I have a character here that is uh, ready to use it. Well, the skinning is not even nearly perfect, but it, it'll be okay for this. Um, I'm going to show how to create a, a rig for this. Uh, there's, there's many different ways to create rigs, but um, I'll show a few uh, ways to approach this. Um, generally, you will want to have the ability to create a, a forward kinematics and inverse kinematics in the arms, uh, possibly in the legs. And you'd like to be able to uh, work the, the body probably have the hips be independent of the upper body or if you'd like to to do that all right just a second okay um so the first thing i'll do is i'll um, add ik handles to the legs just click on the edge of the circle here or the lines if you like and uh, if i if i move this you can see that i get a action. Uh, what I really want to do is I want to add a case going into the foot like so because then later I'll be able to control the elements of this foot um, by simply parenting these um, controllers in an order that makes me able to for instance uh, if I rotate around this point I would uh, rotate the whole foot up uh, let's see if we can do that. Just go like here, and then like that. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Uh, let me just group it there, and then um, move the pivot point out here. Okay, so the idea is that I'll be able to like move the whole foot like so, uh, and and yeah, uh, hopefully you get the idea. So. Um, also, for the leg itself, I want this to be a rotate plane solver because the rotate plane gives me the ability to point the legs in a direction. This thing will let me rotate the knee in a certain direction. Okay, do the same thing for the other leg. There, there, G key, there, there, G key, there, there. And grab this and set it to rotate plane solver. Just press the T key and just uh, make sure it's it's out here and it's it's working good. Now, right now, as you see, if I grab my main node here and I move this around, my whole character will just uh, fly around. And um, I really don't want that. So to fix that, I'll grab these IK handles and I'll set on sticky. You only do one at a time, unfortunately. I don't think it's in the channel box settings. No, so no way around it. Need to go to the attribute and set it one by one. And this works exactly like if it had a keyframe on it. So now these will stick. There you go. Yeah, that's that works fine for me. Um, oh sorry, one second. Okay. Um, to continue this, um, I'd like to set up this uh, this character, and then um, one way to set up uh, the spine is to use uh, spline IK, um, uh, which is uh, is a nice way of doing it. But there's a little bit of a technicalities due to um, rotations of uh, parented control rigs and so forth but it's uh, it's really not too bad also the way a uh, spline IK works I can just create one here going from there to mm, there okay so we have the spline going in there so if I move the spline it will move the body and that spine can also be if I turn off my joints spine can also be deformed see that I have a few points selected here so I can go yep 
<coughs> turn that back on. Um, so this is a, is a fairly nice way to to work the character. Um, um, what I'll do is I'll create um, clusters for uh, for my uh, for my spine. So I'll just turn off polygons and joints and I can this. There you go. So this is my spine. And it has four points. So for the first two I'll create oops. I'll create a cluster. And I'll do the same thing for the top two. Oops, control there. Great. Cluster. The cluster makes me and en or enables me to to work on at the points here. Um, good. Um, turn back on my other stuff. There you go. Uh, and uh, then what I want to do is start uh, creating uh, control objects. So uh, in my case, it'll just be nerve circles. Nerve circle there. Uh, just to make that slightly bigger. Uh, there. Move it up of the X key and then just there. That is right where I want it. Um, and then if I parent my IK handle to this thing, I'll call this hip control. If I parent my IK handle to that, there, you'll see that this will uh, control my IK handle. And since this also, oops, since this also controls the root node, it'll move my root around as well. So this is uh, working quite nicely. What you'll notice that it'll, it, the only effect it has on the upper body is because of the curve deforming. So if the curve was... Uh, uh, oh, actually it's because the curve is... Uh, and the bones are in the position they are. So, anyway. Now, if I rotate it this way, it works. If I rotate it this way, it works. If I rotate it this way, nothing happens. Why is that? The reason is that uh, the IK handle, I'll just double click this and call it spline, so that we know that that's it. It has a uh, few controls here. I'll just grab them in the channel box because this is a little more fun. The roll controls the rotation from the start of the curve. Or the top of the hierarchy, if you like. And the twist controls the rotation at the bottom of the hierarchy. But, you can see they work together. So, we need to be careful about that. So, firstly, what I want to do is I'll take this uh, circle here, the rotation of that, and I will make that control my role value. So I'm going to go to the connection editor and I have my hip control over here and I'll have my I can handle over here. And I need to find row that is there. I need to find rotate and this is a rotate Y. Oh uh, I need to freeze my transformations here. Very important. These transformations. Good, so this is all zeroed out. <coughs> um, yep. Uh, should have done that before. Stupid me. Um, never mind. Um, I'll grab the rotate around Y and plug that into the roll. And there we go. So if I grab this and I turn it, you can see it will roll the character. Very good. Then I want to create another curve. Another circle. shoulder area, make it slightly bigger, possibly shape this like so, so we can see that this is 
this is the upper, upper body control right we know we know this this will control the upper body it's a little big that way around there what the oh, okay I think it's report 2.0 that is playing tricks on me okay so again up here I want this cluster handle to be part of my top thing here so I cut this upper body want the cross handled oh. freeze transformations there we go and then I want to parent the cross angles of that so again this works just uh, candy dandy uh, you can see if I go too far it, it, it's not able to twist or the curve is not although the curve goes nuts it's not able to twist the, the skeleton that far uh, to do that I need to move it down to get enough leeway in the in the skeleton to do that, so perhaps you wanted it to be down a while. Okay, it's just just so you know. So move it down a little bit if, if you have to. It's because once you start twisting the curve, it it the length of the bones here are, are fixed. So as you start to twist the curve, you will. Uh, actually be twisting outside the range of the of the joints here so you to maybe do it like this and then you can see it works but again if I rotate it here we do not twist now the obvious thing will be to do like we just did connection it my brain just stopped there we go and have the upper body here and have the spline here and then I want to rotate Y to control the twist so there so now this works very nice well, at least I hope it does yes very good very good very good um, the problem is when I start to twist the bottom here you can see that it, it offsets the top so the top does not line up with my control anymore and although it, this would be workable it would be really weird to animate so what do we do? Um, in fact it's not that bad just grab this uh, hip control and upper body control and the back of him and I'll open up the brand new fantastic node so there we go so I have these here uh, and if I unfold these we can see that I have rotate Y and I have rotate Y and it is feeding into twist and roll so what I want here is uh, I just press the tab key and I go plus minus average that thing there enter so I want this to be my savior this will uh, do calculations so I can double click that you can see right now nothing is happening and I can do like no operation don't know what that's for sum subtract and average what I want to do here is subtract so what I want to do is when the bottom one is uh, is rotated, I want to not rotate the top by that because that will otherwise offset it. So upper body control Y comes out and into input D1. What? Rotate Y into input D1. We'll try again. Oh yeah, sorry. It yeah, funny thing here. It has to do like a, an input conversion. Okay, and I'll grab this one and I'll pop that into the other one. And there's another input conversion. I'm not quite sure why it has to do this. It's um, it's just strange. 
because it's basically just numbers flowing around but I think maybe the this is of a number type that and etc never mind now I have this node the plus minus average node and I set this to minus or subtract so now the upper body control will get subtracted by the lower body control and the output of that will I will feed to the twist and there you go yet another unit conversion so it looks like this now it looks a little tricky but it's actually quite simple yeah, I could use an expression as well, but this is more efficient, and uh, I didn't, and I'm also sure that this will update in real time. So, if I rotate this, that will work, and if I rotate this, that will work too. They are now working together. Very good. Um, so we have this that is able to do the, like the hip, yada yada yada. And it can also be moved. Yeah. And this one can be moved as well. Not that it does. Well, you can do like funky dance. Okay, I'm going to create another controller servo. And I'm going to hold the X key and snap. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do anything. There. Hold the X key. And snap that up. And I'm going to make that bigger. And I'm going to freeze transformations. There. And then I could just. The obvious thing would be to just parent these. And that would work just uh, nicely for a lot of stuff. So you can see now the upper and lower body would work. But unfortunately, the rotation here would just go like da da da, nothing happening. Because what we are actually linking is the local rotation information here, and that is if I parent this, it's just just nothing is happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a parent constraint. Select the constraining object and the one going to be constrained in that order, and go constraint parent. So now, when I rotate this, I'll rotate the other body as well because the yeah, body will get constrained so if I rotate this thing to 45 degrees or something this thing will inherit that rotation by the controller and the same thing I will do for the low body here so we now have it working like that and it's working yeah 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 it's working real nice and I need a main body Control here. Oh, just just a second. Okay, so I want a controller that controls the um, the whole thing, the whole shebang. I want this to control the feed as well. Let me get to those. So it should control these and the feed and everything. So I'll just make that right now. Create maps circle. So make that big. And then freeze the transformations. There we go. Okay, and in this case I'll actually be able to do either like uh, I do a parent constraint again, this thing to that. So you can see that this will work. just nicely should work all the way here see like that is like 45 or oh, sort of 90 degrees yeah and then if I grab that and, drag and turn that back you can see that yeah that works so that is using a parent constraint yeah so now this is disconnected I undid it. 
Um, I can also do like a uh, straight pounding. So you see, it will still work. Um, so that's nice. Um, uh, the reason being that these pair constraints will um, do magic, calculate stuff in world coordinates. So the issues of uh, nothing get, getting through is sort of solved by by the pair constraint looking at stuff in in world space. Um, so we will not have issues. We're working this. Okay, so we need to get to the legs. So the uh, the body itself is is working okay. I, I I haven't done anything for the for the head here, but um, for instance, just creating a controller that would let me do like this, or maybe even having just an IK handle that could like move stuff around, so that I could well move that. Um, that could work. Um, yeah, we'll look at that in a second. So the feet. So for this, um, I need to create some sort of control object, and I'll just go with the circle again. Actually, did I remember to? Yeah, I remember to freeze that. Very good. Um, this will be the main control. This is my foot control, and I need to create a series of these. I need to create, first of all, a main foot thing. Sounds very technical. So this is my this is my main foot, and uh, the, I'll just hold the D key and move this back. So I want the rotation point of that to be like slightly there okay and I want to duplicate that and just move it across so we can make this I just make that a positive there you go so these are the same three transformations there we go so they are at neutral position. Um, then underneath these I want to have one here, one here, and one up here. And I can do that as circles, or I can do that as uh, different types. I'll, I'll just use circles. So create an exponential circle. Yep. And I'll, I'll just parent it to that one. So now it's living in this world. And this is uh, fun. Uh, I'll just move it over here and then put it like right at this joint here. Good. And then I'm going to well, maybe move it down a little bit. Just make it set at zero. Okay. Make that slightly smaller. Okay. And three transformations. There you go. Duplicate that, move that over to this thing there. I think I'll turn off my skeleton right now. Oh, sorry, my uh, my polygons. So I'll just go hold the B key and drag it there. Okay, modify, press transformations, and then I'll do the last one, Control D. And I'll just pop it up there, make it slightly bigger, and go modify these transformations. Then what I'll do is I will parent this to this, and this to this, and this to this. So hence the the reverse foot because in the real foot this is parented to this and this parents to that etc. So I have this one that is my main foot controller and I have this that is my toe controller. So if I rotate that you can see I rotate the back of the foot. 
And if we rotate this, and rotating this part here, etc. Then all I need to do is to just grab my IK handles and parent them into the corresponding circles. There we go. So this foot should be done. It's it's not looking very good. Uh, or the Just, just a little tweak there. Nothing, nothing wild. Okay, let's turn on the polygons again. There. So I have this thing here. That when I rotate that, I have like foot doing this. Maybe the rotate. Oh, that's just because it's a bit off. So this will work if I rotate around this. I will rotate the front of the foot. Maybe. Ah, oh, this should actually be further back. Um, and this thing, I'm bending this, and the reason why this is stretching is because this is too far out, so I need to like move these things closer together, something like that, so yeah, it's getting better there. And this thing up here, whoop, this thing up here is like a, the thing that is Maybe I actually I shouldn't be able to move that too much because that will just make havoc with my my foot. Um, but it is there to control that when I rotate this, it will push up the f the the um, angle of the foot. So that is quite important. But probably should just be made unselectable or something like that because it'll just make people do bad stuff. Just undo the translations here. So yeah, that that's that's it. And then of course this thing here should be parented to that thing there. So when I move this around, I'm moving the whole character around. Oh ice skating, yes. So do the same thing for the other one. Um, could also have made a copy and stuff, but I didn't. Create nerves circle. Scale this down. And move that over. Oops, and there we go, this should sit straight on it. Turn off the polygons just to be able to snap a little easier. Control D, Control D, and then move that all the way up in that one there. Okay, then that one, parent it to that one, that one, parent it to that one, that one, parent it to that one. And I should probably name this. This was uh, like uh, um, this one will be yeah, foot control. This will be left tip uh, foot tip control. And this will be like uh, oops, this one left ball control, and this could be left angle. I I will not uh, name it this control because I shouldn't do. Of course, I can do it. Do things like popping it on the opposite strings here, where you can do like little things with it. I should be careful not to do too much. Um, and then again, parent the uh, IK handles into the, the circle that corresponds to. There, and then parent this to the main circle, like so. Turn back on the polygons, and let's see what we got. Yeah. So 
I think now I'm actually able to move the whole character around. Yeah. Place him somewhere he's Spider-Man, and you'll be able to animate him from that position. Okay. So for the arms. I will create a simple IK handle there and I'll do the same thing for the other side I will make this a pole vector or rotate, rotate plane I will turn on FK IK control and, and pr I should probably do the same thing for the feet by the way now you can see this uh, <laughs> this is a painful procedure uh, but that's simply because the rotate plane is located in the wrong direction so let's move it out there I'm going to create a control object part anyway I'm do, going to do that for the for the knees as well. So if I turn on the FK I can control. If it's not on, I'm able to move the IK controller. Uh, whoops. But I'm not able to to rotate the joints. Yeah, I am able to rotate the joints. Um, but not once it is set to sticky, then I am no longer able to rotate the joints. But if I turn this to, I hope I'm right. <laughs> when I turn this to FK, I can control. I should be able to rotate this anyway. If why am I in the skin cluster here? Oh yeah, sorry. It's because I got that one. So this should turn off the IK blend. Yeah, then I'm able to rotate. And it's kind of weird. It should. When I turn on the FKIK controller, it should be able to rotate. Uh, actually, if I turn off sticky, if I turn off sticky, and I keyframe this, keyframe, then I'm still able to rotate this. Yeah, and keyframe that again. So. And you can see it snaps back because I haven't changed the IKFK uh, blend. So if I change the FK IK blend here, you can see it goes to the FK solution. So that is uh, kind of nice. And that's why I think that you really don't. Uh, let's see. Um, you really don't need to create a double skeleton because essentially Maya is creating a double skeleton all by itself. Um, yeah. Uh, so to control um, the elbow, I need to create something. Uh, I'll just go with the locate. There you go. Move tool. Turn off the skeleton. Oh, the pockets again. And then hold the B key, snap it up there, control D, hold the B key, snap it over there. Push them out back. Maybe uh, just uh, move them in a little bit. There. And then grab that. Go, constrain, pull vector. That makes the elbow here. Follow that object there. And the same thing over here. Object to constraint to object to constraint, constraint pull vector. There and these uh, things here, I would probably put under an, a hand control or something like that. If I made one, yeah, I will probably do that. Um, the same thing for the knees. Actually, I need to create a locator here. Snap that to the knee, control D, snap that to the knee, grab both of them, move them forward, maybe slightly up, and then go this one, this one, constrain pull vector, and don't worry if it seems a little. Um, it's just because I know that it is it this thing is the left one I need oh sorry the right one and I need to grab the right angle and then go 
constraint pull vector. And then what I want to do here is I want to parent them under the foot there. And there. And maybe make them slightly smaller there a little bit. Good. So what will happen here is if I move this foot up and rotate the leg up, you can see it'll follow. So you can see it it will make this work quite nicely. Good. As for the hands, uh, I want this to be able to do something. So you can see right now I can uh, rotate the hands like that, but there is this little thing called twist. So if I use the twist here, you can see I can twist the, the thing. It's probably slightly too much, I think. Uh, it's it's I don't want the twist thing. Uh, maybe if if I wanted to create a m little more advanced rig, I, I might have it do a slight twist when I bend the hand. But the hand here should be able to just rotate like that. So I'll create a control for that, and uh, let's just do circles are working so well for us. So let's just do another circle. Turn off the polygons and just. Snap that up there, rotate that around. Uh, J, sorry. What happened there? Okay, that is. Um, Control D, move that over here, and then both of them needs to be face transformations. There. And um, maybe, actually, I'll just scale these slightly in uh, that direction so that I can use that to control the hands and then go face transformations. And uh, then I can just, um, for instance, I could parent constrain this under it because it doesn't matter how this is rotating at all it doesn't do anything I can also just point constrain it um, the thing is that I would uh, yeah I'll just uh, I'll just point constrain so I just go to that one and then oops that one, that one, and that one. Constraint um, point, for instance. So if I grab this controller here and I move that, you can see that will control the arms. Fortunately, this is uh, rotating in a funny way, um, and I think I should be able to to fix that in a in a very simple way. But in yeah, um, another thing is that I also want to like to rotate the hand like this, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. Just hang on. Yep. <coughs> so okay. Um, final things head and um, I was working on the hands. Okay. So if I grab the, the the hand controller here and I move that, you can see that it it it, it works the arm quite well, but it, it does not do exactly what I want because it's it keeps its shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to constrain it to this thing here and then go constrain orient, and what it will do is it'll 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 try to rotate according to this up arm thing, and that seems to work quite nicely. And if I turn on the polygons, you can see that it, it seems to work quite well. Um, but I also would like this to control the hand rotation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to select the hand bone, and I'm going to go constrain orient. So now that should constrain to the to the um, hand control. So if I go to rotate. You can see I can now rotate this as well. So 
so that's nice. So I'll just do the same thing over here. I'll just uh, this thing does nothing. Now I'm just going to go and let's go. I'm going to grab that, I'm going to grab this, I'm going to constrain point, so that will work there, good, and I'm going to grab that, grab that, go constrain orient, and I'm going to grab that, grab that, go constrain orient. So now this should work, so this will rotate like that, and this will rotate like that. So that essentially um, makes this cor I think this should this should be parallel to this oh, what happened um, what did I do wrong I changed my I changed the translation totally um, this should be constrained to that. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering why it shoots all the way down there. Yes, it's something with this not being. It has a translate. I'm not sure. Okay. I'll just move it in and it'll it'll work again. Maybe the freeze see this one worked just fine. That was odd. I I don't know why it popped down there. It's still, still, stuff still works. Oh, it's run down discrete rotation. Fun. Uh, and let's see. Keeps uh... ah yes, I know why. It's because this thing that parallels is this instead of that. Oh yeah. So let's go that one there, and that one there. It'll pop now, I'm sure. Yep. is almost done. The only thing I'd say is that um, oh, I didn't do the head, by the way. Maybe I should do a head control. Um, I could just do a small IK here. So an IK going from here to here. So the IK here will make the head do this. And uh, I'll just do a circle. Snapping it up. Yep. Make it slightly bigger. Good. And then just uh, put that IK handle under that one. So if I move this, it'll move with it. And then I'm going to constrain the rotation of the head to that one. So I'll just go constrain orient. So now if I, I'm going to do this, and if I rotate this, it'll It'll work right. And this uh, circle I will parent to the upper body thing. There you go. So if I rotate my upper body, it'll come along just nicely. So when we reach this point here, um, 
the question is if I want the skeleton to be visible or not. Uh, in, since I have like this uh, forward kinematics thing on, I would uh, would like to keep it active. Um, if you do a manual uh, forward uh, forward kinematics inverse kinematics setup for the uh, arms, you can turn off the skills and all together. I could also create controlling objects that would um, set it, uh, and you could actually uh, make those controlling objects um, tell the rig that when they were, they were modified, the IK plan should switch to zero, um, which could be a nice way to go. Um, but one thing I'll turn off is all of my IK hacks. They should just be hidden. And these locators here at the back should be smaller. Me too. So this is my. Uh, what? I still have some IK handles down here. Control H. I have some more. Control H. And I have a few clusters as well. Which is in the. It's inside this thing here. Control H. And in the upper body control, control H. So now I have something that is rel control H. Relatively uh, tidy to look at. Um, what we can do is, uh, since joints seem to have a selection priority, what we can do is select all of these circles that we want to be on priority. So we just grab these there. to the ones in the foot. There, 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 there. So I think that's all of them. And then go to display. Object display. Oh, sorry, transform display. And go selection handles. And it will create these little crosses. This thing didn't do a selection handle. What is this? Maybe put it some place out. So, hmm, very strange. Seems like joints right now has higher selection status than selection handle. That is not supposed to be the case. Hmm. So what I can do here is um, actually for the joints that I want to be able to modify like these and possibly these two here. I can go display selection handles and then turn those joints off. And what is going on? It's only showing selection handles on select things. Hmm. Um, that is a little weird. So, display handle, yes. Display handle, yes. Display handle, yes. But where is it? Or oh, maybe it's viewpoint 2.0. I bet it's viewpoint 2.0. Yeah, yeah, it is. Ah, new technology. There we go. So we have these and these, and then see this elbow here has one, and this elbow here. So now I can go in and rotate that elbow just. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's because my IK handle doesn't move along. Hmm. Funny. Yeah, I have to just consider that for a second. Actually, it's not too different from 
common rigs. Um, so I just need to uh, create a setup where it'll actually, uh, when this is rotated, this will, will follow um, without creating a loop. Um, it would be a little bit of mail scripting uh, to, to set that up, but it should work fairly nicely. See? Yep, it all works. So, whoa. Funny face. Okay, see, yeah, selection handle is also working in high quality mode. Just not in viewpoint 2.0. That'll probably be fixed soon. Okay. So, yeah, bye bye and uh, see you later.